The State Chief Minister M.K. Stalin today released the DMK, DMK Manifesto for 2024 Lok Sabha elections. The party also announced a list of candidates for uh, the elections. Uh, MP and M.K. Stalin's sister, Kani Mui, and other party leaders were also present at uh, <clears throat> this event in Chennai. The DMK, in fact, has made several promises in its manifesto. It, is, uh, it has uh, said that BJP's anti-people policies will be reviewed. It has also promised uh, a ban on the NEET medical entrance exam. And it is also said that one nation, one poll proposal will also be scrapped. My colleague uh, Sam Daniel spoke to MP Kani Moi a few uh, hours ago and this is what she said. Joining us now, DMK MP Kani Moi, thank you very much for your time. You are the architect of the manifesto. What's the larger theme of this? Uh, federal rights, state rights uh, has been a focus uh, for us. And uh, I think... Uh, more than uh, you know anything else, what the union government can do is what we focused on. Also. Are these implementable? For example, AIMS was a promise made last time. I mean, no, uh, exemption of need. Definitely, if the government changes, uh, then we can. And I'm sure that people want to change all over India. So there will be a new government, an India government, and uh, we will be able to do whatever we've promised. You have been fielded for Tutigurin for the second time as a Lok Sabha candidate. I feel very happy and I'm grateful. I'm grateful to uh, the party and our leader for giving me an opportunity for the second time. What's the number you're expecting? Last time you have won 39. 39. <laughs> Thank you very much. That was DMK MP Kanimali talking to us in Chennai with Suresh Sam Daniel for the TV.